So in this call, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share the... Um, so on this call, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you how we conduct a sales closing call and how we close over 80 percent of the time. So that means if I have 10 calls, I close at least eight of them. And it's been unbelievable. We uh, have a clear process. We have a clear strategy. We have a clear uh, way of conducting the calls. So I'm going to uh, share that with you. It's a 10, uh, ten step process more or less i'm going to share the steps with you so if you want to uh, conduct sales calls that way and find out if you uh, increase the conversion let us know i'll be glad to hear that's the the best thing you can uh, do for me because um uh, i would love to hear from you say what's working what's not working if that works for your industry talk about your niche just mention and we can probably uh, uh, have a call uh, I can see what you're doing wrong and maybe I can even help you. So let's get straight into it. First is finding out why they came for the call. So this is kind of uh, qualifying the client. So they booked a call. We know we ask a few questions on the call on the Calendly link. So when they book, they are, um, there are some certain questions that we uh, ask. But when they come on the call, they are spending their time. They came on time. They uh, uh, they uh, set a time to spend with me. So that means they have something that they need. So I need to find out what it is. The sooner I find out, the better. So um, why are you here? What brings you here? You can ask in different ways. So that's the question. Why are you here? To qualify. They will say, oh, I'm, I'm uh, having problems with the lead generation. I'm, I'm getting no attention or I'm uh, struggling with the content because it's a marketing company that we uh, have. So I'm going to share my experience and how we maintain calls. So you can take whatever you can from this call. Let's get straight uh, into number two. The second uh, point we have is get clarity. You need to... Uh, get clarity, you need to show some interest in the client and uh, you need to find out if uh, they have a proper offer and the pricing. So it's this is where I spend most of my time. So on a call, uh, about uh, 40 to 50 percent of the, the duration of the call I spend on this and this is where I listen. So this is very important. The more you listen and the more you show interest, the more they're going to convert. So that's a, a very, very important thing on a sales call. So you, what I do is I ask about uh, what do they have? So what is their business? What are they selling? And then I ask about their dream clients. Who is your ideal client? Where do they live? The demographics, age and things like that. And then I go to uh, uh, the offer what do you have to offer so what are the price ranges this is to get clarity on if we can sell it as well so it's not just trying to find out okay whatever he's selling for whatever amount i'm gonna uh, <coughs> i'm gonna try and uh, sell it no it doesn't work like that we need to find out if we can uh, do the selling part or the marketing part if it's ethical the all these matter i have said no to clients where they came and said okay they don't have clarity they don't know what they're doing and it sounds dodgy it's like oh this is a, a, a trading platform and i trade uh, they have to just register on the trading platform and i do the trading for them they have to put a minimum amount of two grand or this and that and now i know it's it's a, a big scam right so all these things i avoid so i'm like okay i listen to them and i say ah oh, we, we, we don't do this kind of stuff because i might get into trouble marketing and i don't want any kind of trouble like that so that's what i do the second part is what so uh, this is uh, a very important the second part uh even though it's uh, uh getting the clarity you have to make sure you ask about the business, you ask about the the, uh, the ideal client, you ask about any uh, offers tax if they have, 
uh, you ask about the offer, the pricing. So you need to get a clear idea. Why we get that is because we need to see if we can find that kind of clients and if the price range is uh, relevant, is it good? And also if uh, we know about the business, if there is something uh, very uh, complicated, then we will say no as well. So these are uh, uh, things that we consider. And uh, uh, the, uh, the, the fourth, uh, then we get to the, the third level. So uh, second and third is like the client, uh, about the client. So it's, it's a mix of, uh, so the second and third are to do with the client. So you ask the questions about their business, their offer, and their price points and uh, their ideal clients and uh, you go to the pain points as well so the ideal clients is like the third point and ideal clients i dig deeper about their demographics i uh, go deep into it and i ask for the 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 one ideal client and also i ask about the pain points this is where i uh, find out okay these are these real pain points will they pay for these real pain points so when i get that information i know okay this is where we are we got a, a business we got an offer we got a, a, a we got the clarity now we have a, a an ideal client that we can approach and we have some pain points that we can deal with so that's uh where we are at the moment so it's four steps done now i come to the fifth step which is uh, presenting uh, uh, what I got so this is important because uh, what I need so all these questions lead to me understanding the client now I create a scenario where I have these kind of services how did the the features of my services uh, help this person particularly so when I talk to him what brings you here if the answer was lead generation or if the answer was I am struggling to find clients or reach or the uh, uh, the algorithms or anything like that, I make notes on that and I try to um, make a link between what I have and what they want. So this is how you close. This is the way to give them what they need rather than talking about what you have and trying to close. So there is a big difference between that. So you have to focus, you have to listen and you have to focus on what they need. So that's what I do in the fifth stage, which is talk about my uh, business or what I do, the services basically. So if I've got three packages at the moment, the, the ultimate package, the platinum package and the gold package. So I explain to them, okay, this is the ultimate package, but uh, uh, according to what you said, I think uh, for you, it suits more to go with the platinum package because maybe he said, I'm struggling with money at the moment, so I can't afford to pay a lot, blah, blah, blah. So you have to keep all this in mind. You have to write them down and you have to match it So with what you have. So you're recommending rather than saying, oh, uh, why not pay uh, 5,000 and go with the, the, the ultimate package? Then they'll be like, no, no, this guy, I told him that I don't have money. I can't afford to pay a lot and this guy still says go with the five thousand a month package it doesn't make sense so then you lose the trust so that's why it's very important to listen to the client really clearly well and then make a decision you suggest to the client on client's behalf not okay this is my business you pay just pay the maximum no so you need to come up with a solution. So you come up, oh, platinum, maybe even not platinum, gold. Okay, gold is the, the lowest package we have. I see that you're struggling, but you still need to get the leads. You need to generate some revenue. You're struggling with finding clients, but why not start with the lowest package? And slowly when you start getting clients, you upgrade. So what I'm trying to do is I'm taking them through after the close. I'm assuming the close, but I'm taking through after the close saying when you start getting leads, when you grow your business, when you get generate more revenue, then you upgrade to the package and they're like, OK, yes, yes, I can see that they're visualizing the growth, they're visualizing uh, the engagements and uh, the, the revenue uh, increase. So that's what you need to be doing. 
So once you get to that stage, you explain everything. This is uh, what we have. These are the packages. This is what uh, uh, it suits you. And then you don't ask, would you like to go ahead? You don't ask, uh, what do you think? You don't ask, uh, would you like to buy? That's not how you do it. You assume the clothes because they came to you. They needed this. So and you suggest, OK, this is uh, this is what I think suits you. But apart from that, do you have any questions? So that's the next step. I uh, start asking questions. And then sometimes they're like, oh, I have this concern. I, uh, I need to think about these things sort of things you have to dig deeper and ask okay what do you need to think about these things okay what are the questions what are the concerns let's uh, uh, talk about them now so you bring the concerns but make sure you try to pull whatever objections they have in advance and you tackle them on the call it's not like oh you wait expecting them to not have any objections that that's not going to happen so when you ask questions with clarity you are getting information okay this guy is struggling with money this guy is struggling with this he's not struggling with money but he's struggling with the time he doesn't have the time he's busy so now it's a point oh he's busy so we can give more services he has the time um, he doesn't have the time he has the money Right now we can give more services, we can increase the package, we can put more effort and get him to uh, purchase the done for you service rather than do it with him. Do you understand? So that's what we do. So we understand and we try to uh, convince this is what suits him. And uh, we go with that. And most of the time they agree if they have any objections that you didn't catch up. Then you ask, OK, they have they'll be like, oh, I need to think about it. Maybe I need to speak to my wife. I need to ask my husband. These kind of stuff will come up. But you have to be ready. So these kind of stuff are objections. You there will be. I'll do some videos about objections, different objections. There's so many objections. It's not really so many. It's about 10 of them. But there are variations of those 10. If you get answers or if you come up with uh, how to overcome objections and, or closing techniques to do with these objections then you can close anyone so it's not like you are uh, uh, proving in a prudent manner that this makes sense what they're doing makes sense it's not like you are trying to trick them into it what you're doing is yes they're saying oh i don't have the time i'm really busy so i need to maybe wait for two months so what you do is you are OK, this is why you need to do it, because you have been waiting. You never had time to do it. So if you start now in two months, you'll have something. So it's you are taking the objection and converting with by using the objection. If they say you don't have money, it's you don't have money because you don't have leads. If you had leads, you'll have business, then you'll have money, then you'll be able to afford it. So it's converting that into a sale. So that's what you'll be doing. So that's where you uh, convert them. Now you'll be like, OK, next step is uh, you sort it and you still ask, oh, do you have any concern, any other concerns, questions? Then you say, OK, how do you like to pay? When do you like to start? These are the questions you ask. So how do you like to pay? Where do I send the link? So these are good questions. Or uh, when do you want me to start? Do we start tomorrow or next week? Do you want to start today or next week? Uh, but if they say next week, you still register them today. So that's the key. It's not like, OK, you pay now and then we'll get started next Monday. Also on the call, when you are um, uh, a number five, when I'm presenting, I say, oh, these are the things that are included. But if you make a decision today, I have included this, this and that. Oh, these bonuses should uh, have some connection with uh, uh, the struggles they have or why they came. So then they are more important. They're like they're going for because of the bonuses. So you're like, OK, this is very important uh, to me. So I, I will have to make a decision today. So that's what you need to be doing. Now you get them to uh, <coughs> pay. So you send the, the link to pay and then you wait. You don't say anything. Where do I where do you want me to send the link? And then you send it 
and they just keep quiet. You don't have to say anything. You brought the pr price points anyway when you uh, uh, spoke about your packages. So that's what you do. And if they have any more objections, you deal with them. Like I said, you need to train yourself by uh, uh, practicing for different objections and then you can overcome these objections. It's not like, okay, there might be one of situations, maybe one or one in five, maybe one in 10 uh, situations where they just came to speak with you and get some information, but not purchase anything. They can't really afford it. There are situations like that. When that kind of client comes on, you don't assume that clients not going to become a client one day. You have to assume that, that you have to do a, a really good sales call. You have to perform really well in order to get this client one day. So you say, OK, now it's tight. I understand. So maybe in six months, what do you say? We'll have another call and then book the call for the six months time or in, in a month's time, in, a, in two months time. So just book the call straight away. You don't have to wait. You say, OK, uh, would... Uh, the first of January or, or the first week of January suit you what time and then just okay I've booked it now so that we don't forget we'll have another call and we'll do it then so you are saying that we are gonna do it then so it's gonna be a close it's not gonna be a waste so that's how you do it and uh, once they pay now you summarize what you said it's giving them confidence you thank them okay you made a good decision now let me summarize uh, what we are offering you so when you summarize it gives them a lot of uh, a more confidence and also what happens uh, well what we do is we offer something on top of that it's like a cherry on top what we do is we try to over deliver and if uh, um, if a client gets the feeling as soon as they pay, um, they made the right decision, uh, then it's it's going to help you. So that's what we do. We'll be like, OK, I take uh, if the client uh, purchases, the, say, the gold package, I include something, a feature that he needs, he or she needs, obviously, not something, oh, they're not going to need it, I'm going to just chuck it in. No, I'm going to take something that they need from the platinum package. Or I sometimes I ask, oh, would you, do you think you are going to miss something from the platinum package because you went with the gold? And then they might say, yes, I, I want to have uh, the private WhatsApp group where I can communicate 24-7 with you and your team. Then I'll be like, okay, I'll include you. Uh, in a WhatsApp, that's uh, in a WhatsApp a private WhatsApp group, so you can communicate, you can ask questions, you can uh, 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 be in touch with us all the time. So that's fine. I will uh, uh, include that in your package free of charge. So these gives them a lot of confidence and a lot of faith on you. That's what we do. And once I summarize, I then go to the ninth step, which is what are the next steps. This is also important. You don't just get them to buy and then they say, thank you and OK, we'll get in touch with you. That's not good. So what I do is, OK, so we have done this. This is the summary. This is what you're going to be getting. And the next step is we're going to have a call with my team and we're going to have a plan how to move forward. So the next call, when are you available? And then I book the call with them straight away so they know okay this is when i need to come and then i say okay on that day we're going to get access to your platforms so be ready these are the things that you need to have ready and uh join the call and then we'll go from there we'll discuss anything that you have within the next three days or two days on that day and then we'll uh, get them sorted if you have anything before that you can whatsapp you can send a message on the whatsapp group and then you can get clarity on there and then I share my number with the client for uh, uh, the platinum package and the, the uh, ultimate package but uh, with the, the gold package sometimes I give them the email address sometimes I even share my number or my uh, managers number so that they have someone to contact if they have any questions finally the tenth and the last one is you have to uh, um, uh, you have to send them in a happy mood so it's like sometimes I do ask, OK, this is a, a good sales strategy uh, just before you close as well. And as well as after you close, when they're happy, you can say, oh, do you know anyone else that might need our services? 
you don't have to wait for to provide all the services to uh, get them to refer you can ask the same time do you think uh, do you know anyone so or uh, it's better to ask who do you know rather than do you know anyone then they might say no right so you say oh who do you know that might need our services uh, that's even better if you do it before you give the prices so that they might think okay if i refer a couple of people i might get a better price so that's also a technique uh, that you can use these are techniques that's going to help you and your business and also the client and uh, their business as well i'm not giving any technique to uh, uh, squeeze money from a client it's just that you need to get these kind of referrals that's how you grow and you shouldn't be ashamed in asking questions like that or asking uh, for a referral it's it's fine and uh, maybe you say okay if you uh, refer me a couple of people i can probably give you a better price and do give a better price give uh, them a good price as well as give uh, uh, the the people who are who they're referring to a good price what i do is i say okay if you refer someone what i will do is i'll give you a a, a a couple of weeks free trial and i will give them a couple of weeks free trial as well so instead of them having to pay straight away they'll be like wow well, i'm getting free uh, uh two weeks free services and uh, if i refer someone so these are things that you can do uh that's what we do and send them on a high like i said in a happy mood i always say yeah thank you you've done a, a great uh, uh, it's a it's a good uh, decision and we will do our best to help you get to this so when you say this you need to make sure you talk about why they came so if they said okay uh, i want to i want to get to uh, uh, 50k then you say okay we will do our best to make you go to 50k Per month if they said i want to generate uh, 10 leads per month or 20 leads per month we will do our best to generate you 20 leads per month so they know okay this is what i said they've been listening and they are going to do their best so um, it's the key is to build the trust so how you build the trust is by listening and making notes and making sure you repeat what they said because then they're like oh this guy is listening and show genuine interest and only try to sell if you can serve them otherwise you're going to get bad reviews and that's going to hurt your business even more so this is what we do i will uh, uh, share some examples if i can um, so if you like this video if you learn something from this video please like the video and share with your friends and let me know comment below saying what you used from this or what you are uh, uh, using maybe something that you're using that will help me uh, improve as well i like to learn as well so yes please share and let us know how you found this thank you very much take care god bless you